Hi everyone. In this part, we are going to discuss about phagocytosis. The phagocytosis is a process by which a host is going to get the immunity. And this process is going to act as a first line of defense or the non-specific defense mechanism by which the host is going to be protected by different invaders that is by different pathogens that are going to cause the infections or diseases. So that's how we can consider the phagocytosis as a phagocytic barrier of immune system. Now in this part we are going to discuss what is the process of phagocytosis and what are the cells involved in it and what is the mechanism of this phagocytosis. So let's begin. So as I told you this phagocytosis is an important defense mechanism of host to provide immunity that means protect itself from the pathogens and it is a process by which that means a phagocytic cell uses its plasma membrane to engulf a large particle giving rise to an internal compartment called phagosome. Okay, this phagosome containing cell is being lysed, so that's what we call it as phagocytosis. Then phagocytosis is going to be an example of endocytosis. Basically, this endocytosis is going to be of uh, two types. One is going to be phagocytosis and pinocytosis. So here we are majorly concerned about the phagocytosis discussion. Okay. So what are the cells involved in having this phagocytosis process? Phagocytes are the type of white blood cells that use phagocytosis to engulf bacteria, foreign particles, dying cells. That means the one which is going to lose its life dying cells to protect the body. They bind to the pathogens and internalize them in a form of phagosome. So that's what we have discussed. So it may be a bacteria or a dead cell or whatever it may be. They're going to take it in the form of a phagosome which acidifies and fuses with the lysosome in order to destroy the content. So we will discuss all this mechanism. And these phagocytes are the key components of our innate immune system. We know that two types of immune systems are there. One is the innate, that means one that you are going to acquire by birth. And second one is the adaptive, that is artificial immunity, where you are going to acquire it after birth. Okay. So that uh, immunity topic, you can go in detail in another part. We already did it, that is in the immunology subject. And we are going to have the three main groups of phagocytes. Those are going to be of our neutrophils, then the macrophages and monocytes and some of the dendritic cells. And these are all going to have a slightly different function in the body. So as I told you, the neutrophils, macrophages and the dendritic cells are the most abundant one which are involved in this phagocytosis mechanism. The neutrophils. These are abundant in the blood and important in acute inflammation. That means as soon as a pathogen enters into the uh, body, it is going to be the one which arrives the site of infection and starts up gathering and it is going to start up removing at the same time passes down the information to the other cells. So that's how we can consider these neutrophils as their first immune cells to arrive the site of infection. Then coming to the macrophages, these are going to be the resident cells in the tissues, isn't it? If they are going to be in the circulation, blood circulation, we call them as monocytes. So macrophages which are present in the tissues are going to act as a fast defense mechanism and initiating the adaptive immune responses, that is second type of immune responses. Then the third type of the cells which are involved are the dendritic cells. And these are going to be circulated throughout the bloodstream, tissues and the lymphoidal organs. And they will sample the potential pathogens and act as a major link between the innate and the adaptive immune systems. 
okay so this is how these three cells are going to perform the phagocytic mechanism and giving rise to the innate as well as the adaptive immune system process so let's see the process or mechanism of phagocytosis so this is a macrophage example was given to explain the phagocytosis process okay and as we know the macrophages are strongly phagocytic to a wide variety of particulate materials such as viable microorganisms dead cells and the gibberish etc so what is the mechanism so what is the process of uh, this capturing a pathogen how it is going to be lysed everything will start so coming to the first one is the chemotaxis and adherence of a microbe to a phagocyte that means in the first step in phagocytosis macrophages were attracted and moved toward a variety of substances generated in an immune response and this process is called as chemotaxis after that this antigen that means the next step is going to be the adherence of the antigen to the macrophage membrane so this is the first step that is going to occur one is it is going the macrophages are going to be moved towards the presence of this antigens that is occurring because of the release of some chemical compounds the process is going to be called as chemotaxis now once they reach this antigen this antigen will adhere or attach to the membrane of this macrophage or a phagocyte now after the attachment what is happening this macrophage is going to extend or it is going to uh, produce its membrane in the form of pseudopodia okay and after extending this pseudopodia the material is going to be bound into a vascular or a vesicle like structure and this pseudopodia as it is enclosing the material within a membrane bound sac like structure called as phagosome so that is nothing but the formation of a phagosome so first of all the chemotaxis and adherence then the ingestion of this micro by the phagocyte and then the formation of a phagosome and which then this phagosome enters the process of endocytosis that means lysis occurs inside the cell is going to be called as endocytosis okay and in this pathway that is endocytic pathway a phagosome moves towards the cell interior where it fuses with a lysosome so it is going to be found fusing with a lysosome vesicle so here your phagosome now it is going to fuse with the lysosome and together we call it as phagolysosome okay so that is what the fourth step is going to occur that means the fusion of the phagosome with the lysosome and forming the phagolysosome now what is happening after the formation of this phagolysosome the lysosome is going to contain some sort of uh, hydrolytic enzyme which able to digest the ingested material that is what is the ingested material here is the bacteria okay now once this bacteria is going to be digested all the digested that is partially digested microbe is going to be thrown out of this macrophage by a process called as exo cytosis now the formation of the residual body containing this indigestible material is going to be discharged or eliminated by a process called as exocytosis so this is the whole process or the mechanism of phagocytosis so let's have a quick review so the macrophages or the phagocytic cells like neutrophils and the uh, uh, macrophages are moving towards that is dendritic cells macrophages or the what is the other one what is the other one so macrophages then dendritic cell and we are having one more is the neutrophil cells so these all are going to be moved towards this uh, antigen because this is going to release some sort of the chemical substances and this process is going to be called as chemotaxis 
Once these phagocytic cells come in contact with the antigen, this antigen will bind to the plasma membrane of a phagocytic cell. And now in the second step, slowly, the plasma membrane is going to, that means the plasma membrane of the phagocytic cell will protrude or extend and covers this antigen and forms a vesicle or a sac-like structure called as phagosome, that is ingested material inside this one. Now this vesicle is going to combine with the lysozyme and now the lysozyme contains the hydrolytic enzymes like lysozyme which will degrade or partially digest the microorganism that is or the antigen that was present in the phagolysosome. Now this partially indigestible material was thrown outside the cell of this macrophage by a process called as exocytosis. So this is all the mechanism of this phagocytosis is. Then this is all the things that I have explained you what is all the things okay then killing mechanism phagocytosis how it is able to kill this uh, antigen that is present in the phagocyte so it can be occurring by two different mechanisms one is going to be the oxygen dependent mechanism the second one is a oxygen independent mechanism the oxygen dependent mechanism is going to be of uh, by the uh, what will uh, happen is the phagocytic cell will increase the uptake of oxygen at the same rate, the PP pathway, that is pentose phosphate pathway, increases to generate the NADPH. Now, this NADPH reduces the molecular oxygen to provide various toxic metabolic products such as free radicals, that is hydroxy free radicals, then hydrogen peroxide and superoxide ions that will kill the ingested bacteria. Now what happens, this whole process is going to lyse the bacterial cells and that process is going to be called as respiratory burst, what we call it as respiratory burst. And it is a major mechanism of killing of ingested bacteria during phagocytosis. That means the neutrophils, the macrophages and the dendritic cells are going to opt this type of mechanism that is oxygen dependent mechanism to kill the bacteria or whatever the ingested antigen by the process of phagocytosis and what is the second type of the mechanism by which it is going to kill the bacteria is by the enzymes we have seen the lysozyme is going to bind to the phagosome forming a phagolysosome so the lysosome containing these hydrolytic and digestive enzymes will break this bacteria and that's how it is becoming the partially digested bacteria which is being killed and thrown outside the macrophage cell or phagocytic cell. So this is a mechanism by which the ingested bacteria is going to be removed okay, from the macrophage or the neutrophil or by the dendritic cells. So this is all the, about the phagocytosis process. So where we have gone through the types of uh, phagocytic cells like neutrophils, macrophage and the dendritic cells and we had gone through the mechanism and what is the process of killing of this uh, antigen in the phagocytic process in detail. Okay, thank you.